All right, so this is uh, another entrance to the Casa Hueso, Calle Hueso. Um, on our way to the 90, 90 miles to Cuba marker. There's always a line over here. We're not going to get on that because we already have pictures with that. We've been online doing that something. Just to take a picture. So yeah, this is the uh, 90 miles of Cuba marker. So supposedly at night you can see the um, Cuba from here. <laughs> And then the Navy base is right there on that side. Oh, that's a puppy. So yeah, there's always a line here. You have to come early and have patience, which I have sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, not all the time. Oh, they got the cold, fresh coconut water here, right next to the 90 miles of Cuba marker. And the the friends. Oh, they have piraguas. They call it snow cone. In Puerto Rico, they call it piragua. They also call it rapado. Yo. Morning doves. About to have a fight with the rooster. Hmm. So we're gonna pass by uh, Ernie Hemingway's house, which is not too far from here. That's one thing down here, they have beautiful trees, right? Like the shapes. Some of them look creepy, but they have beautiful trees. A lot of fresh air down here. Spring breakers down here, of course, because it's spring break. No, they still are out here. Hey, good morning. Supposedly, spring break is over, but there's a lot of spring breakers down here still. Look at that. Just the little things that pop out, like the little pineapples carved into the wood for the balcony. That's pretty cool. A lot of plant life. A lot of plant life, a lot of greenery, which is good.
Oh, look, guys, there's a lighthouse. And I think that lighthouse is right across from the Hemingway house, Ernest Hemingway, the famous uh, novelist. So let's see. We got. And I, that, that, that lighthouse is haunted too. The potter's cottage. Look at this small house. That's pretty cool. I'll be happy there. You give me that. Oh, real estate agency. Want to see what they have? Look at this. That's a lag road, which is a main road. But it's a way. Oh, that's small. So 750. 750 square feet for $323,000. Mm, oh, it's a two bedroom, one bath, but it's tiny. It's 285. It's a yoga studio. Yoga studio. We're past. So, right off of Truman and US 1, Truman Avenue, you'll see the lighthouse. US 1, it's another name of the okay. whitehead. Not a black head. Come on. So we've done these trolley tours already. We would have done it again, but we don't need to. We've done that so many times. I'm tired of doing the same thing. I started doing covered calls. So here we have the Ernest Hemingway house, the famous author. We've been here as well. I think our, our first date, or one of our, in the beginning when we first started, let's say that. We came, when we came to the Key West, we came down here. It's pretty nice. They still, they still have uh, cats with the six toes that are descended from the original cats, the original Hemingway cats. Mitigating the risk. Yeah. You're getting a lot of cash. Yeah. I guess we'll be back, guys. Here we have one of the alleys. So this house is pretty okay. This house is pretty old, but it looks like they put just you know they modeled it and put stucco right outside. We got the astral turf. Um, I'm trying to drown out that music. Alright. And the tin roofs that you see on the houses in Key West, that's mandatory by law. Come to the side. By law, you have to have tin roofs if you have a, uh, if you own a home down here. And that's to prevent fires. Because uh, there was a big fire early in the 1900s here, which uh, took out a lot of houses. A lot of houses. Come. A 
Old ta Old Town Tavern. We're going back to uh, Duval Street, um, which takes you from the by the water side on that side is uh, the 90 miles to Cuba marker, uh, all the way to Mallory Square, which is where we see uh, where everyone goes to watch the, the sunset. And again, just a heads up, if you see the video gets muted um, or you don't hear me speaking, you don't hear music, is because I'm trying to avoid the strike uh, from YouTube. They don't monetize your, your videos if See, like now, I have to mute it. Hopefully, they didn't pick that up. If you like wine, there's a wine bar here. It's called Vino's Wine Bar and Shop. Havana's, premium cigars, key lime shop, but this is not the original. It says world famous, not world famous there. Bahama Village. Some people say this, these houses and this street reminds them of uh, um, New Orleans. I've never been there, but uh, that's what they say. Some of these little houses with the porches. So you got more stuff here. These little nooks. Guess what they make? Hammocks. Yeah. You ended it? Oh, this is cool. They can make a miniature version of you. Look how it looks. Look how it looks. Three D printing. I don't know if you can pick that up, but yeah. Tattoo shop. They're probably sleeping still. Mm -hmm. Mango. Mangoes right off the wall in Angela. Again, the trolleys, we've been there a few times. We've done that. We've done the train. Oh, so come, 
I was going to point out something. DJ's Clam Shack, which is right there. Guy Fieri visited. He did a, a show there. Um, it was one of the best locations out here for uh, lobster rolls and clams, etc. And then right around the corner from that is one of our favorite spots that we always come to um, to have dinner. I'm going to show you that. We might come to that later on today. Most likely. It's right over here. Yeah, this is a definite. We always come here. We know, we already know the owner. Um, but I remember when this was all pebbles, it was like a, a lot. But this is a crazy good spot. He, he told us, that, when did we come? Last year, November? We came down here, October? And then we came back again. And the last time we came down here, he, he was telling us that he opened a second uh, spot, which was a restaurant, like a physical restaurant. And um, he had to shut it down due to COVID. So, but this one remains, which is good. Key West Fish and Chips, right off the bow. And then look. Yeah, that's a day specials. I mean, we're gonna cross here. Come. Looking down the bow. It's so nice today. Ooh, we love this. Full King, awesome. But we don't need to come to Key West to eat this. We go to a spot in uh, on University by Nova called. Uh, Go fo, go fo, right off university. It's fire. Hmm. Yeah, they have more. Look at that. You want to check it out? Mm -hmm. I will be back, guys. Oh, Birkenstock. My daughter Severus. My daughter Asia likes these. I wonder if she likes those, those slide on ones. Oh, they got like croc imitation down here. I don't know if you see the, the reflection. Right there. Cigar factory. Want to get some uh, some vapes, some cigars. Biggest hotel right on the corner. It's a cool little hotel. So check this out. This is the Strand uh, Theater. The Strand Theater, which they turned into a Walgreens. Can you believe that? But look how beautiful the, the architecture. And it still has the, the, uh, the colors. At night, it looks really, really nice. I'm gonna try to come by here tonight and just uh, take a picture or shoot a video. But it's, I can imagine what's up there on the second floor. The Strand Theater, which they turned into a, a Walgreens. Let's go inside. They even have the ticket booth, the original ticket booth here. Look at this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 
Oui, bon. El qué? El qué? That's down there. Yeah. Yeah. Trees. That's a historic Cuban building there, St. Carlos. Built in 1871. I'm gonna check here. Mm -hmm. Alright. Another big CVS. Historic building. Crest. You can see where the flag holder, flagpole holders were or are. We stayed here at La Canta, which is another historic building and really haunted. We had the Duval view room. However, they have these wooden blinds that you can barely see outside the window, which I didn't like. That's the only thing I didn't like. They have these these wooden these wooden blind uh, blinds, which prevent you from looking out. It's difficult to see outside. the same art piece that we saw in uh, Las Olas. See no evil here, no evil speak no evil. It was all right. It's just I didn't like the the way the windows were set up. You could barely look outside. trees down here look like this. St. Paul's. Of course they got the Wendy's. That was enough. <laughs> yeah, that was enough. Two hundred years. Since it was established 1822 to 2022. So this house back here, the oldest house, we've never been on a tour as of yet, the oldest house. So the kitchen is in the back, like a separate building, like a shed type thing. It's right there. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That's nice. Old Chevy. Bel Air. That's nice. See, that's the oldest house. They turned it into a museum. And supposedly the kitchen is in the back, like a shed type thing. 
Oh, look at this car. Hmm? Love the trees down here. Look at the old architecture. The portholes. Oh, look at that house. Beautiful architecture. I have to turn out that music because blah 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 blah. I can't. If I do get a strike, it's because of uh, the music, but I'll, I'll uh, mute it. Look at this tree. Oh yeah, the whistle bar. It's on the second floor, the bull. It's on the first floor. And at the top on the roof, it's a... Uh, Closing optional. So, Fogarty's, that's another haunted house there which they turn into a restaurant. Wait, I want to see this truck. They have, I got lucky today, they got a lot of old cars. Damn, look at that, that's nice. I wonder if they have like an antique car show today. So down here, again, I have to block the music out. So yeah gonna be a problem today with this music playing in the background Cajun seafood Cajun seafood there yeah it's gonna be tough today to record down here because of the music playing in the background We'll be back. So yeah, there's a lot of bars. That one is the Red Carter, Red Garter Saloon. Then you have uh, this is oh Dirty Harry's. That's another uh, famous bar. Uh, Rick's is another famous bar. Angelina's Pizzeria. Sorry. Rick's Key West, another famous. Of course, the famous Sloppy Joe's. The famous Hoppy Joe's. Oh yeah. The famous Hoppy Joe's. We're gonna cross. We're gonna see the first sloppy, uh, the first bar that. Uh, I think it was the first Sloppy Joe's where Ernest Hemingway used to be, used to hang out. And then they moved it across the street there to a bigger spot. Yup. So this is the original Sloppy Joe's right here, which has a tree right in the middle of the bar. The original Sloppy Joe's. And there's some tombstones inside. So this is the first original Sloppy Joe's bar. Um, I had to cut off because of the music. However, I'm going to try to cover the mics and go in to show you a, a tree and also two tombstones. There are two people buried in this bar. So give me a second. Mm -hmm. 